Hi, welcome to Mark's Ghosty Corner. And um, I'm actually doing a bit of an experiment. I'm actually trying something new. I've got a bit of a new setup, which I'm trying. And um, we've got to get used to actually filming like this. <laughs> I've got two cameras and normally I have two cameras which um, one which obviously as you can see I'm pointing outwards towards the hedging um, and the other one which is on myself now normally the one I have on myself is a night vision camera but of course we're in the daytime so I'm actually trying a different setup where um, obviously I've got hopefully a better quality camera which is actually um, video myself while I'm obviously videoing out so what I'm going to try and do is just as a little experiment is come and try doing a little bit of video and seeing what it looks like. So um, I thought if I actually come to one of my favourite churches and do a little bit of video in, uh, I'm trying not to get anybody else on film at the moment. Hi, you're all right. So I've brought you to Heim on the Hill. I love this church. It's a great church. And I thought I could do a little bit of video in just walking around while I'm obviously trying my new camera setup. It is Sunday, so I don't know whether there's going to be any uh, parishioners around, but there you go, look. That is a gorgeous church. Love this church, beautiful. So yeah, I thought I'd just try it out, just see what it looks like. So the problem is with the night vision camera, um, is that it, in the daytime it's too harsh, the lighting on it's too harsh, it's too kind of washed out. So I thought if I can actually come with this one and try this camera, um, we can see what it looks like. As I said, lovely church, gorgeous. I do like here, it. it's peaceful as well, it's really quiet. Um, they have got some, they've got some stables here and there are some houses. But over in that direction, you've got loads of fields. Um, and I think here, obviously, it's more into Hyman Hill, uh, the village itself. But, but yeah, it's, it's quiet. That's what I like about here. It's nice and nice and quiet. Well, it was until, until I arrived, of course. I love the tower here as well. It's fantastic. See, the thing is, this tower, I mean, if you've seen any of my old videos, you'll know this anyway. The actual, um, the base of the tower actually dates back to the Saxon period. So there is actually original foundations of a Saxon tower here. Pretty amazing. Love it. The stonework's really uh, interesting as well. Really individual. So I'm going to try and make sure I don't step on any of the graves. But yeah, you can see as we get closer to it, got this kind of real interesting, kind of almost like burnt texture on it. Um, and of course, you can see with the stone, stonework where it's worn. But yeah, it is. Gorgeous. So yeah, I thought I'd come and have a little uh, little walk around here. So um, why am I doing this? Okay, right. So in about a week's time, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm actually going to go and do a solo investigation at a really cool, allegedly haunted location. So I want to come and make sure that I've got my camera set up right um, before I do that. I don't want any mistakes. See, yesterday... Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, yesterday, I actually went to another church and I did a walk around, um, did some investigating around it, and I didn't actually have my microphone plugged in properly, so there wasn't any audio at all. Um, so, unfortunately, I didn't actually get anything on it. So, I, I did this nice walk around. See, Kirkby Mallory, there's a beautiful church in Kirkby Mallory. So I was walking around there doing some video in, but there was actually no audio at all, which was really frustrating and annoying. So unfortunately, that video was a complete bust. So what I want to do is I want to nail this down. I want to make sure the videos are right, that we do have the audio, that obviously um, that both cameras are working as they should be. 
and um, before I go and do this investigation. Now, I'm not going to say where it is at the moment I'm doing this investigation um, because I'm keeping that to myself at the moment. But I'm really, really excited about this. I'm really, really excited to be going to this location because, like I said, it's a solo investigation. I get, I'm get, i hopefully going to get about two or three hours in there after dark, um, which will be amazing. Oh, my God, it'd be so cool. Um, and, you know, setting all my cameras up, my tripods, and obviously, you know, getting this sorted out. So, you know, with the, with the footage and video in. And if I can get everything as it should be, um, it means that, you know, I, hopefully I don't miss anything. If anything happens, if I capture anything, I've done it properly. I've got the audio, I've got the video sorted and everything else. So that's cool. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Look at that. So um, I don't miss anything, basically. That's the plan. So doing these... Um, it's kind of an extended church walkabout because obviously I've been here uh, many times over the years, um, videoing and that in the daytime and that. And I have been when it's, you know, gone darker as well. But I do love this. It's a really old church and it's really nice for me to come here anyway and do some videoing. Um, but at the same time, uh, test my equipment out. So, yeah, so this investigation, if it goes to plan and it does happen like um, I'm hoping it will do, I can't wait. I'm so excited about it, really am. It's been so long since I've actually gone out and done any kind of solo investigation. Actually gone on my own, especially into a, you know, a really cool haunted location, uh, allegedly haunted location. We're going to find out on that one. But yeah, so I, I just really can't wait because like I said, it's been, it has literally been so long since I've done anything on my own like that. You know, I love these church walkabouts and everything. Um, and you know, it's just difficult because trying to get into doing investigation in a location is not easy, um, for the simple reason that it costs money. You know, you can't get into these places for free normally. Um, and it costs a lot of money. And when you're a solo investigator and you're out and about doing videos and you're, you know, trying to, um, prove there is life after death and, you know, the paranormal is real, it's not so easy when they want loads of money off you to actually pay to get into really cool locations. So being on your own is a massive hindrance from that point of view and going with venue groups or event groups like I've been trying to do um, recently, you know, like when I went to Guy's Cliff House, it's just really difficult because you have to follow their rules, you have to play by their rule book and it just makes it really difficult because you can only get like limited time in certain parts of the location and you can't really do a proper investigation. It's just really tough going. Um, and because of that fact, it doesn't work. You, you know, you walk away not satisfied because you tried your best with what you've got. Um, but at the same time, it's just not enough. It's just, it's just not, not good enough for what you need. So I've got plans. I've got stuff that I'd like to do for 2025, you know, kind of like goals, if you like. Um, but at the moment, it's really hard to achieve those goals at the minute because at the end of the day, um, you know, lack of finances and everything else and trying to sort out the equipment and getting the kit right, it's just not easy. So all I want to do is not keep moaning about it. What I'd like to do is actually start being proactive and doing something about it. So that's what I'm trying to do. And that's what this video is. You know, this investigation I'm doing in a week's time. Um, if it goes really well and if it goes to plan, then I want to start seeing if I can actually contact more places um, and they might let me in to do investigations as well. So, you know, I have goals, I have dreams of what I'd like to do with this. I'd like to, know, you know, grow the channel, grows pe you know, grow people's interest in the channel um, and ultimately, you know, get more subscribers, get more followers, which hopefully ultimately will help eventually um, fund me to actually pay to go in other locations and you know it kind of like self functions if you like that i'm making money from the videos um which ultimately means that i can actually pay to get into some really cool locations which means i'm putting more content on etc 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 that's kind of the goal and what i want to do but i'm a long way off that at the moment 
Um, but ultimately, that's what I want. Um, I'd like it to be self-functioning, but at the moment, it's not really an option. But, you know, small steps, little acorns and all that. So, um, that's it. So, I was just trying this out, just having a quick walk around this really cool church, which I adore, and doing a bit of videoing. So, look at that. That's amazing. There's a pigeon up there. It's not a ghost. Unless it's a ghost pigeon. Could be. You never know. Hello, Viva. Oh, that's another question. I have a million and one questions, you know. And, you know, you get ghost pets, cats and dogs. Allegedly, you hear the headless horseman, you know, and all that, so you get ghost horses. But how can we never get ghost pigeons? Anyway, there were questions which I want to answer another time. So... This video was just to test it out and also see how bad it is. Uh, I've had a shave, which I'm not really happy about. I had a really nice beard. I've been growing for about two years. And then I, in a crazy moment, I decided to shave it off. <laughs> and I regret doing that now. So I'm trying to grow it back again. Um, so yeah, you can see how bad it is on the video. But I do miss my beard. I miss my beard. I think I waffled enough now. So... Yeah, there you go. So I just thought I'd have a quick walk around the home and the hill church because I love this church. Uh, test that kit. Let you know that I have actually got an investigation coming up and hopefully I can then get some um, video in, uh, get some cool evidence. Um, and then all being well, I can put it on my channels for you to see. So thank you for watching. It's only a very quick video anyway. I'm going to go home and see if all this has worked or not, if there's actually some audio. Unlike the one yesterday at Kirkby Mallory. And then um, we can then go from there. But yeah, I want to be putting a lot more content on my channel. Um, I want to actually be talking a lot more about mediumship and I want to be doing videos on mediumship. That is really important to me as well. Um, really, really important. And it's really going to help me uh, moving forward in the future, especially when it comes to spirit contact. So for me, that is like really important, the mediumship side. But I've, I need to get back into it. And that is a lot harder. It's not a simple case of just setting the equipment up, you know, getting the cameras and all that, trying to communicate with spirit and be able to talk to spirit to get them to actually work with, um, work, you know, with me um, to give us, you know, evidence and proof on camera is not so easy. So that's kind of my next step. But at the moment, I'm just taking it one step at a time. Look, one step at a time. See what, see what I did there? I'm so clever, so clever. Beautiful door, look at that. It's difficult because I'm looking at my camera, the bottom one, which is what I'm pointing at like with the door and that. And then I'm looking at the top one as well, um, just to make sure you can, uh, I'm actually not like with my head cut off or something. <laughs> it's not easy, these two cameras, you know. But yeah, that's a, that's a gorgeous door, gorgeous door. There you go. All right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm waffling, right. So thank you for watching this video. As always, like and subscribe. And um, I will be doing that investigation soon. So um, I'll, let you, I'll let you know more about that and where it is um, when I'm actually there and I'm actually doing some videoing. But until then, I'm keeping quiet. I'm going now. I'll see you soon.